Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3, and welcome to the 7th level of World 3. And this one's actually pretty fun if I say so myself, we have a new enemy type. I think his name is called Spike, I don't have the manual on hand right now though, so I can't confirm that, but uh, pretty sure that's what he's called, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think that's what he was called in Paper Mario as well, so there's that, and basically all he does is he... Uh, Gets out a little spike ball and throws at you. He's mostly harmless. He's not so bad, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, cer certainly a lot better than the lack of twos and whatnot. Hey, look up there. There's a secret area. Let's go up there. Why don't we? Oop, that fell. There we go. You know, that climbing sound effect sounds a lot like the one from Super Mario Bros. 2 now that I listen to it again. Anyways, there's a P block. I wonder what that did. Well, I'm going to go and just fly up since I'm over here and have the running room. And we're going to float, float, float towards the end of the level. And I'm pretty sure there's a spike at the bottom. Yep, but it doesn't matter since I hit the box without him even getting the chance to hit me. So, yay for me. All right, two more levels to go and another fortress as well. And I'm actually going to be trying to take on the hammer bro without the... Uh, Without the star this time. And look what happened as a result. Oh my goodness, that was terrible. What the? There's no power up this time? Seriously? Wow, that's weird. And what do I get? A star again. Yay. I should just use a star. But, uh, yeah, and also notice uh, the bridge over there is down, so we can't just skip over to World. Eight or level eight, so I went, I'm going to go and use my firefly room. We're going to go into the fortress, and hey, look, it's underwater. Why is the fortress underwater? I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, cheap cheeps, no problem though. Pretty easy to deal with. Another firefly room. That's my score. Yay! But who cares about score? Let's be honest. Anything past Atari 2600, who gives a crap about the score, we just want to beat the game. And now we have one of the most annoying things in the game, these boo platforms or whatever. They're annoying because if you if you get touched by the boo while you're on those, you take a hit. And they are hard to avoid, let me tell you. Oh boy, this is going to be tough. How am I going to squeeze through this? Uh, okay, I did it. There we go. And I got the Fireflyer, so Bam Bam or whatever his name is, this is going to be pretty easy. Look at that, so easy. Man, is, is that guy seriously ever going to have a difficult boss fight? Because he's pretty freaking simple. Anyways, that fortress is done. That warp pipe's open now. Yay. So now if we want to, we can just warp over to the other side. But I don't want to, so we're just going to move on to world or level eight i keep saying world for some reason and hey look the fish is back yay F screw the freaking that freaking fish what i tell you if you're not careful ye freaking eats you and you die so screw this i'm demonstrating the p-wing the p-wing is awesome because literally you have unlimited flight. You can just fly through the level, and let me tell you now, screw this level. I hate this level. I am not playing it legit, okay? I'm sorry, but screw this one. That fish is beyond annoying, and there are so many spots for him to just respawn and come get you right away, and I hate it, so you saw the design overall since I fly it over, but nope, I'm not playing that level. Screw it. I don't care. I'm not doing it. That's why the P-Wing was invented, guys. So, screw that level, screw that fish. The only thing that sucks is that p wings only effective for one level. After that, it goes back to a regular Tanoki Leaf. And, uh, yeah, it's a little disappointing, but understandably, if you could just fly through all levels, then there wouldn't be much point in playing the game, would there? Can I get up there? Oh, great, Paragon was up there, too. Yeah, Alright, let's move on. And now we have the bombs. Or bombs, as I usually just call them. So, yeah, they'll, they'll explode after a while, but you can also stomp on them and throw them around. And, uh, 
yeah, eventually they explode like that. And you want to be out of their blast, because if you're not, um, it hurts, let me tell you. And over there we have a fire flare, fantastic. And interestingly enough, the bombs are not affected by the by the fire flare. You, you'd think they would uh, catch fire or something like that, or get the ignition going, or whatever, but... Uh, no, it doesn't have any effect, so... At least level 9 is pretty uh, harmless, in my opinion. Unlike level 8. I can hate level 8. There might be an underwater section here, but whatever. It's pretty small, no big deal. Oh, freaking, freaking cheap, cheap. How'd I get hit there? Seriously. That was terrible on my part. But that's the end of the level. So... Like most of the levels, very short, very simple, not too bad. And another one up. Yay. Now we go into the warp pipe here. And this should take us to the castle. There we go. Yeah, let's see what's going on. We already know what's going on, though. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Yep, exact same thing again. So back onto the airship, or maybe this is a different airship. I don't know. Anyways, back on, back on here, and now we gotta go take down another coupling, and more of these Monty moles that I hate so much. I know that's not what they were called in the in the manual and whatnot, but they're basically Monty moles from the later game. So screw it. I'm going to call them Monty moles, and I think crap. I think over here was a Firefly, but now it's just a Mushroom since I took that hit. And, uh, I think I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. I had a feeling that was coming. There's just so many freaking cannonballs to dodge and whatnot. I'm just not a huge fan of some of these later, later, uh, airships and whatnot. So, there it is now. And I hate how it moves after every time you fail. I really don't like that. So... Going to equip a item real quick, fire flower, and now let's try again. And I did go and cut head to where I was, cause you know why? Why show it all off, you know? But now we got Tanoki. Now we don't have a Tanoki leaf. Seriously, there are just so many things to dodge and be so annoying, and I, I really hate these platforms right here. Let me tell you. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but basically all you want to do is just keep jumping on them to get them to move forward a little bit. But the problem is they move, they move so little that honestly it kind of defeats the whole purpose of them. They're basically useless in my opinion, so I'd barely even use them if I can avoid them. And there we go, avoid that wrench. And now we have Wendy Koopa, the only daughter of Bowser. So she sends out some rings at us. And, uh, yep, that's it. She's still pretty easy. Nothing I can't handle. There's the magic wand, and now it's time for Mario to free fall again. Seriously, why doesn't he just take control of the airship and land it? I don't get that. But whatever. So there's the king, who looks a bit like Mario now I look at him. Oh, thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. Cool. Can I read it now? Thank you. Greetings. The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to, to defeat your enemies. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect you, Princess Toadstool. Okay, cool. Sorry, I just love that tune of this world. World 4 is fantastic, what can I say? It's got a lot of good levels, and it's got a great, great theme song. It sounds a bit like the Mario Party 1 uh, theme when you're playing, uh, what's it called? Uh, Platform Peril. In fact, some people, I think some people say that it's actually a, a remix of this theme from Super Mario Bros. 3, but I don't know. It sounds similar, but... I don't know. Either way though, the theme's fantastic, and uh, now we are in the giant world. A lot of people's favorite world, and uh, for good reason, you know? It's uh, interesting to see all the enemies so big and whatnot. 
and uh, it, it is fun, don't get me wrong, it is fun, but uh, honestly it doesn't really change up that much, I find, you know, they still go down with just the fire, fire flower blast, you know, you still get your Tanoki leaf, although I do like uh, seeing some of these giant blocks and whatnot, that's pretty cool, and I like jumping on the clouds, so, yeah, I, I like World 4, it's fun. I don't think it's, I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite world in the game, but it's, it's fun, definitely. I won't disagree with anyone there. And for some reason that piranha plant is still normal size. I find that weird, but whatever the case, that's the end of the first level. And it was fantastic. Seriously, that theme is awesome. But now we have more water. Ugh. I don't like water. Gosh darn it. Well, okay, scratch that. I like water. I like swimming too, but I don't like freaking water in my video games. Keep water out of my video games. Oh, cool power up. There we go. Uh, is there anything down this pipe? No, there's not. Okay, curiosity satisfied. I was just curious. There, and again, I don't know why some of the piranha plants are big and some of them are small. That just looks weird. But where the case is, gosh darn it. Where the case is, don't matter. Moving on. And what's in here? Star, fantastic. I could use that. Yeah, it's a little weird that the star theme wasn't playing at that time, but... Whatever, that's the end of level two. Very simple, very easy. You know, fun stuff, what can I say? I like World 4, you know, it's a big improvement over World, over world 3 in my opinion. And over here, over here we have another mushroom house. And, uh, yep, let's go and check it out. Let's see what we can get. Come on, give me something awesome. Yeah, mushroom's alright, I guess. I could use that. And on to level 3. And again, I misused the cloud because, again, yeah, I, I forgot. I, I didn't learn my lesson the first time. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. And these hammer rows can be kind of annoying because uh, they jump around and they can shake up the world and make it so you can't move. But uh, they're not that bad. But now we got more buzzy beetles, including the ones on the ceiling that I don't like. So... Yeah, not, that's no good, but, uh, whatever. How do they get on the ceiling now that I think about it? I don't, I don't know, I'm just curious now. Alright, let's... Can I get up there? There we go. Let's float over here. Now we got spinies on the ceilings, too. I guess the good thing about the spinies is... While they're on the ceiling, if you jump on them now, you can land on them without getting hurt since the sh the spikes are on their back, not their bottom. Gosh darn it, Buzzy Beetle. But, uh, no, they're still annoying. I still don't like them. I, I kind of want that extra life. Can I get that extra life? No, I cannot. Instead, I died trying to get an extra life, but whatever. Moving on. There we go. Let's see if I can get this time. I, I think I got in the bag now. So dodge that. Dodge him. Well, well I got it at least. Yay. Anything in here? Nope. Alright. Let's jump over here. And nothing in there? That sucks. Anyways, that's the end of that level. Very, very short, very simple. Yep. Another level since Super Mario Bros. 3 really drag out, so you gotta appreciate that. But anyways, folks, that's gonna do it for this part, so thank you all for... Oh, wait a minute. Never mind, we gotta take out this hammer brother first. Boy, that was difficult. Okay, this time for real. That'll do it for this part, everybody, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time when we take on the fortress. See y'all then.